gender is both men and women plus children struggling for equal opportunities at household level, at organizational level, at national level and other levels. I think if you empower women, they can do great business. Once you empower women, they will, uh, they will pull the whole value chain towards getting a better quality of life and income. Improving value chains has become a worldwide approach to increase agricultural production and contribute to economic development. Women have a very important but under-recognized role in various parts of many agricultural value chains. They work in production, processing and trading, but often benefit less from the gains. Women still lack ownership of land and other means of production. They have less access to bank loans, business development services and markets. This gender inequality is a root cause of women's businesses lagging behind. This produces inefficiency in the value chain and loss of development opportunities. Addressing gender in the value chain will help fight the social injustice that many women are facing. It also helps building more robust and efficient chains, leading to the reduction of poverty. Take this example of dairy farming in Nicaragua. Men own the majority of land and cattle. Men are seen as the dairy farmers. They milk the cows and bring the milk to the cooperative, where cheese is made for the local and international market. The cooperatives are composed almost entirely of men. The income of milk sales goes to the men. Meanwhile, the women ensure the quality and the purity of the milk. They wash the udders with purified water and remind the husbands to wash their hands before milking. They strain the milk to remove impurities. They haul water from a well to wash containers, buckets and straining cloths. They contribute to local economies, separating part of the milk for the local production of fresh yogurt and cheese by female entrepreneurs. To strengthen the cooperatives and improve the processing and marketing of dairy products, the involvement of women is necessary. Recognizing their important role increases the awareness of their qualities and their contribution to the family economy. Women are also seen as dairy farmers. They now demand a fair share of the income and become members of the cooperatives. Women join men in cheese processing. The hygiene of working places improves. The quality of cheese improves. There is eye for local business initiatives of women. Women are given the value they deserve. This is gender mainstreaming. Since 2008, Agri Pro Focus has been working to improve gender equity in agricultural value chain development. The Gender in Value Chain Network and the online platform are well-known sources for sharing experiences, concepts and tools. Cooperation within the network has resulted in important sources like the book Challenging Chains to Change and a toolkit. However, it was felt that professionals need guidance to put gender-sensitive ways of working into practice. Amongst network members, an approach was developed to provide on-the-job coaching to professionals working in an agricultural value chain. This systematized approach combines tailor-made coaching based on own cases with joint events, including training and exchange of experiences. Currently, Agri Pro Focus is developing a pool of coaches who combine gender and value chain expertise. National coaches are being trained, receive backstopping from experts, and find assistance among peers. Coaching experiences and resources are systematized and shared. With the coaching trajectory, at first I thought I was going to meet somebody to do and fix things for me, things that I didn't know, things that uh, never seemed to work out. The coaching, what it implies is that the coachee is really in the, the driver's seat. The coach is just there to support and to help the coachee find his own solutions. To me, really, I realized that coaching is just having that good working relationship between the coach and the coachee, and then you use the relationship to advance and achieve your coaching goals and objectives, which I did. It's really on the job, it's practical, and people really uh, have to face it. <laughs> they have to put into practice what they have learned. With this approach, 
experience has been gained in four East African countries. It is now gradually being unrolled into other countries, first in Africa, with a view to developing a global network of professionals in gender and value chain. It's really helped for me. It's really uh, make me think, reflect, and make me challenge how to, to uh, apply it in my works. I'm more empowered, I'm more confident, I'm more free, and I know that now I've got a team that is going to help me walk the journey of a coach. It's a great approach. It works, it's practical, it's hand-on, and it makes a difference. I think uh, that in the long run, we can, we can have an impact on, uh, you know, the, on uh, uh, the target populations. We can change things. In a nutshell, I'm really excited about this program. Thank you very much.